So we're in the uh, fun fly zone, which is the, uh, the area where all the ultralights and light sport aircraft gather for uh, grassroots flying. It's a pretty fun place to be. My son flew his ultralight from Virginia to Oshkosh, a 750-mile, 32-stop trip for an ultralight. What can I say? He's, I'm very proud of him. You know, I'm very proud of his accomplishments. About seven years ago, I discovered these things called powered paragliders, and they absolutely changed my life. When I fly my airplane, I land with a big smile on my face. When I fly my paramotor, I can't stop laughing. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's what happens when you start flying these things. The big thing is, is the average builder can build it and you can do it in two or three weeks. You're not spending years to do it. And it is a part 103 ultralight, so there's, you don't have all the regulations you have as an amateur build experimental or uh, certified aircraft. I approached the EA about the possibility of building one of these here and saying that we could do it in a week and there's great interest in ultralights and bringing that back. I think the movement's coming back around quite a bit. You see the vending area here. They keep creating more spaces every year for vendors and more ultralights back here. And we're definitely seeing a lot more interest in ultralights. Appreciate what the EA is doing and I think that's gonna be a big part of the rebirth of the Part 103 ultralights. This is a place for people who just love to be in the sky, to all come together and enjoy that experience the way it was meant to be shared. This runway behind me is truly a special place. It's hallowed ground for those of us who love fun flying and fun aviation.